Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this tutorial, we will take a look at some of the common commands that you will come across when you're working with Lightning Web Components. So the first way is in order to get the whole list of commands that is available under SFDX is just typing in SFDX commands. So what this will do is it will list down all the commands that are available in the force namespace. So you can see here the namespace is force. And under the force, you have commands related to org, then they are MD API, lightning, data, config, auth, apex, etc. So force is the namespace. The next thing that comes after the namespace is called the topic, or we can say is the category as well. Now, under that particular category, you will have a lot of commands, or you can also have a subcategory. So for example, here, force colon apex, so the force is a namespace, apex is the topic, class is the subcategory, and then create is the command. So what this command does it, it creates an apex class. Similarly, you have force colon apex colon execute. Now, if you have a anonymous block that you want to execute, then you can use this command to execute that anonymous block. Then if you want to retrieve the logs, then you can use the next command force colon apex colon log colon get. So that is going to go ahead and retrieve the logs for you. And similar, so that's that's the set of commands that fall under the apex category. Then if you wanted to deal with authorization related, then in that case, you have force colon auth is the authorization related commands. They fall under this category. If you want to set some configurations, then you have a force colon config set of category and then you can get the configuration you can list down the configuration and also you can set the configuration if you want to do something with the data anything to manipulate the data if you want to delete something if you want to update something or create something if you want to create a new record if you want to bulk create or bulk delete then what you can do is there is a command from which falls under the data category so force colon data basically is something to deal with data. Then bulk means we are dealing with a bulk load of data and then the command is delete. So you pass in a CSV file and that what in those CS that CSV file will have all the records and then you can just type in the location of the file and it will go ahead and delete those records for you. Absurd it will update or insert the records then if you want to deal with single record at a time then you can use this command called force colon data colon record colon create so it will create a record for you then the next one is record colon delete it will delete a record for you so these are the manipulation of data commands then if you want to go ahead and uh, display the documentation of the command then you can use the force colon doc or you can use the force colon doc dot commands colon list so it will list down everything now each of these commands will also require some parameters okay so if you do not know what are the parameters then what you can do is you can just use dash dash help with any of these commands. so for example what i mean is if i let's say the command is force sfdx force colon org colon open let's say org create okay so this is the command and i don't know what are the parameters it requires so i can just say dash dash help with that and it will give me the list of parameters this command needs so it needs couple of things first thing it needs is the default username that is basically described here the default username then you have is the type it's a scratch org or it's a sandbox so you have to provide the type the next one you have is the target username then the next one you have is the dev hub username and all that so then you have to provide all this information so these are the list of parameters that you need to provide with this command so when you are writing the command you can use this help section to give you complete idea about what all i need to provide in that command so this is examples also so you have minus f this is the location of your json file and then it's a scratch org. So these are the examples, alias name, username, this is the default username, etc. So anything, any command that you're not sure about, 
you can use dash dash help and it will give you complete information about that command. sfdx force colon org colon open will open the scratch org for you. Okay, this will open your default scratch org in the browser window. Next thing we have is let's say you want to create a lightning web component. In order to do that, you, there is a lightning web component command. So if you go up here, it will fall under the lightning topic. So it's these are the lightning related commands. And if you want to create a new component, this is the command here force colon lightning colon component colon create. So here the lightning is the namespace, the component is the topic, and then the create is the command. So this is the this is how you def write it. Now once I don't know what parameters it requires, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, type in the parameters that I need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the help command to get a list of parameters that I need to pass. So first thing is I'll say sfdx force colon lightning colon component colon create and then dash dash help. Now it requires these all these parameters. Options are you have to provide the API version. Default is already there 46.0. So there are two ways. Either you can provide option as dash A which is basically the shorter form and dash dash API version is the longer version. So you can provide either you can write minus A or you can write dash dash API version. So you have two options, either you can use a short form or you can use the long form. Then it also requires the output directory. So folder for saving the created file. So once you are trying to create a lightning web component, it will create some files for you. So where those files will go, you have to provide the output directory URL also. Then the name of the component and then the template. So the default lightning component, the template to use for the file creation. So these are the list of parameters that you need to provide. Some of them have a default value. So the one which already have a default value, we will skip those. We'll only pass dash D value and then the component name value. So let's go ahead and create a lightning web component using the command prompt. Okay. So here I'm going to say sfdx force colon lightning colon component colon create dash n. So I'm going to provide the name of my lightning component and the name is first lightning example and then the, the location is force so that will create under this one force app here force app main default and then here under lwc so this is where i'm going to create so the location is force app then main default lwc so this what will happen is it will create my force lightning component under this lwc oh so you have to provide the let me provide the type also here minus minus type and I'll say LWC okay so you have to provide the type also because the type can be of two type either it is aura or the LWC and uh, the thing is default is aura so that's why it was complaining so you have to provide the type as well so here LWC so it has created the lightning component and inside it it has three files .html .js and then it also has a configuration file and xml file now similarly if you want to create an apex class there is a category called apex so if we go up here under the commands you will see a category called apex and under that apex there will be a category called class and then there is this there is a command called create so this particular command will be used to create an apex class so now we don't know what options it has. So what will I do is I will go ahead and use the dash dash help and to get a list of all my options and then I'll create a Apex class. So how will I do? We'll say sfdx force colon Apex colon class colon create. So this is the complete command and dash dash help. So this will give me the list of options. So the options are first is API version default is already there. 
we need to provide the output directory the folder for saving the created files then we have is the dash name what is the name of going to be our apex class then the fourth option is the dash dash template means it can either be a default apex class or apex exception class or a unit test class or even so one of these you need to provide as the template type so these are the options that you have so we are going to provide options as first we'll provide the class name then output directory and then the template so these are the three things that we will provide in order to create our apex class so here we'll say sfdx force colon apex colon class colon create and uh, we are going to say the name for the class is first apex the template that i'm going to use is default apex class and then the output directory would be force colon app colon default slash main slash classes so it will create my class under this folder and then hit enter now here so it is created under this force app then the next one is default default main classes so it has created my class under this first apex.clc now once you have written your component now you need to push your changes to the scratch org so there is a command called sfdx force colon source colon push so what will it do is it is going to push all your source code to your scratch org from your local it will go go ahead and push it to the org so now we're going to go ahead and write the command here and it will push all the changes that we have made it will push it down so these are the common set of commands that you need to remember when you're working with lightning web components or this is the dx command salesforce dx commands so it will tell you that these are the classes that we are adding and these are the lightning components the .html file .js file and then there is a xml file so that we are pushing to the org so instead of using this we can also use the command palette in order to open the command palette you can say control shift p and here there is a command to create a lightning web component so once you say create lightning web component it will ask you what is the name of the file so let's say the name of the file is hello world this is my file and the output directory you can say the default one is force app main slash default lwc so i'm going to just pick up that so what will it do is it will create the lightning web component here so we're gonna go ahead and it might take a couple of seconds in order to show up in the folder so it has created this hello world component okay so you can use this command palette then you have a push command in order to push the scratch to the scratch org then you can use the open the default org so there's a command to open the default org so we can say control shift p open the default org so sfdx open the default org so usually we are going to use three commands very frequently the first command is creating the lightning web component so just type in the word create the second command once we have created the lightning web component we will use the push command to push the changes and the third command that we will use is we will use the open command to open the default org to test our changes okay so these would be the three set of commands that we are going to use very frequently in this course so remember this play around with the terminal also and you can just for the timing you can just use the command palette in order to do this this is all about the common set of commands that you have i'll see you in the next tutorial thank you